good evening everyone uh, so uh, we completed uh, the tris that means tris method as well as the sensors that is how bio inspired sensors works and what are the different bio inspired sensors and how nature manages to sense that means how nature is actually executing this sensing property by using a soft material so these all things we already discussed in the uh, the last session so now i would like to introduce the bio inspired controls that is bio inspired controls systems <coughs> you already know the control systems mostly associated with the software so that's why generally in bio inspired design we will discuss first uh, the artificial neural networks but uh, in this course that is in this uh, particular uh, class or year i would like to skip this because uh, artificial neural network uh, we have to uh, at least take uh, four to five classes and we have to discuss in person so that is what we need to do that uh, i seriously feel uh, you have to participate uh, in the discussion so uh, only in classroom we can do that exercise so i don't think online we can do that so in control systems so if you take the uh, robotics that is hard robotics if you say then you can use artificial intelligence to control the systems so artificial intelligence that is uh, artificial neural network uh, is inspired by the the uh, cells called the neurons brain cells or uh, neurons which keep flowing from one part to another part in the body so they keep uh, transmitting the communications from one to another part of the bodies so brain is the organizer so brain actually receives these uh, neurons signals as a voltage pulses and they um, accumulate and they process in the brain so this is what as a overview happening so inspired by that in the neural network actually we defined as uh, artificial neurons okay so artificial neuron we can uh, <clears throat> use in the case of artificial neural network so this topic i am uh, skipping uh, for this class that means in exam also you are not going to get about this one. but i would like to discuss the another type of control system which we have generally people are ignoring because of the dominance of the uh, neural network that means uh, in hard robotics that is where uh, you see only the hard parts metal usage and strong robots so in the hard robotics generally the artificial neural network is being used in order to control the systems okay so but there are a different kind of controlling systems other than the electronic and uh, uh, this kind of software based uh, control systems okay so the one of them is uh, soft robotics the why soft robotics is needed <laughs> if you see there I, I have given several points uh, the key point here is how you are using the robot for how you are using the robot and what for you are using the robot so this way if you see robots are being used in order to execute to different works different functions so in these things you can imagine when actually robots are interacting with the bio entities that is that may be human being that may be any other bio entities these human beings and bio entities are actually they called as soft matter it's not a hard matter like uh, metals plastics or aluminum anything okay so that's the reason why if the robot is also of a soft matter then that would be really good but if you use the soft matter this strength of the robot is not going to be so high 
but and controlling it with respect to you using a metal components and other things is also going to be difficult so soft robotics is a completely different field where you are going to use the soft materials to make the robot and there uh, you have the different control system what you are why why you are doing this because you want to create a soft touch sense and if robot touch something like soft materials it should not squeeze them it should not break them it should not actually create any uh, damage to the uh, different articles it is going to hold so this kind of touch sensitive uh, this kind of softness you can create with the soft robotics so that is the key point behind uh, the introduction of the uh, soft robotics in this so what are the major differences i have already explained if you see in this side the conventional robots or i generally call them as hard robots so hard robots are generally made of aluminium steel plastic where here silicon based polymers rubber and plastic and this is anyway hardwired electrical connections wiring and software driven where this is pneumatically controlled that is the important thing what is this pneumatic control this is controlling it's a, it's a kind of control based on pressure maybe most of the people know that pneumatics so pneumatically controlled means we are going to control these structures we are going to control these mo <coughs> movements of the structure by using pressure controls by using pressure controls that's what we need to uh, do in the case of soft robotics so uh, bulky and these hard robots are anyway metal based or plastic based hard material based so the motion energy consumption all those are different bulky but here in soft robotics they are basically low weight flexible elastic and good reachability will be there and uh, anyway metal components here are different uh, components we use in order to connect them so use of nut and bolts that's also metal components use of uh, uh, <coughs> sticking agents that means in order to stick one part to another part anyway these are soft materials and low weight uh, intrinsically low weight so hardware sensors we here we use soft sensors soft sensor means again you must have uh, listened in the case of uh, sensors topic when we were discussing the sensor topic uh, you must have seen that these biological systems are not at all using any metal or coatings or anything they are using the bio material which is structured okay that kind of strategies we have to find in order to make soft sensor sensors but in literature if you see the soft sensors have another meaning okay soft sensor means uh, the the software based sensors also called the soft sensors okay don't worry in the case of the soft robotics it is like using the naturally inspired sensing strategies so that they are made anyway made up of uh, the soft materials at the same time they won't contribute to much weight they are flexible okay so these kind of sensing systems we need to uh, <clears throat> implement in the case of the soft robotics so overall if i combine everything and say you soft robots are made of the soft materials like silicon polymers plastics uh, that is soft plastic and rubber and these are controlled by the pneumatics rather than the electronics and these are flexible and use only soft sensors and in order to connect them you need not to use nuts and bolts we can actually stick them and join them okay so this is about the soft robotics in this soft robotics as i told the controlled system is not your uh, artificial neural network the software or uh, it it is not based on the mechanical control <coughs> it is not based on the so not mechanical control okay? it is not based on the uh, electronics based controlling systems it is the pneumatic based controlling system purely we are using the pressure based systems 
purely we are using the pressure based systems so that is the reason why if you see here so i just uh, uh, given all points which we discussed now now if you see new nets so what is this new nets called that's what i'm going to tell you if you see we are not using any electronics here of course we use some electronics that is for whichever needed that is low weight and the small small components so that is fine but it is not going to be majorly electronics and software it is going to be for controlling actually so for controlling it is not going to use any electrical or electronic devices it is going to use the pneumatic pressure based so that means in order to create this pressure now you can just take your hand and just fold it like this and open and fold and open so if you are able to define this event what is the event you kept the hand like this fold open fold open so you are doing folding and open according to the instruction coming from me am i right so instruction is coming instruction is being analyzed instruction is confirmed how to do then you are executing the instruction through muscles that you have to remember that is in your body you are executing your movements through muscle motion but how to implement artificially this muscle motion is still a unsolved problem okay so but instead of muscle motion we can actually uh, we can actually replace that muscle motion with nearly same kind of process called pneumatic movements pneumatic movements how they actually work, work out you can see the touch me not plant you can seriously understand because touch me not plant will work on that kind of pneumatic disturbances or that kind of pneumatic motion of the fluid from one part of the uh, plant to another part of the plant they execute the motions according to the requirement so that is the reason why so we are going to implement the pressure based networks in order to create movements in these soft robots pressure based movement creation in these soft robots so that is where we are going to get the movements and that is anyway you are using the soft material so when you create a movement you are going to have a soft touch with a soft contact with other things so that is the new new uh, new nets new nets means pneumatic networks so pneumatic networks are nothing but the pressure based networks the small small channels through which you are going to control the different motions of your complete robotic system so that is what pneumatics here i have given one example if you see the example in this example the pneumatic uh, uh, <coughs> network is created like this that means these are the channels so different uh, channels in the layer this is inextensible layer that is a substrate kind of thing this is the extensible layer that is a flexible one where you have these channels that means within your system or within your layer within your uh material you are going to create a network of channels small small channels i don't say micro channels slightly better than micro bigger than micro channels okay so what these channels are going to do because you are going to inflate them with the air pressure you are going to inflate them so according to the inflated pressure according to the inflated pre pressure with respect to time they are going to change their shapes sizes heights these all things based on that the resultant motions will be created that means 
if you are able to control the pressures in these channels you are able to control the movements of the body parts of the robot at a, even a small level which is not possible in the case of the hard robots okay so this way when you inflate them or pressurize them you can see it is expanded like this you can actually see the height also increased so hope you understood this is a very simple concept only thing you need to remember is you need to create a layer structure where the upper portion of the layer will have pressure based channel so that means you are creating a channel that means at one place you want to create a dome kind of structure you can create at one position you want to create it that means if somebody beat in your hand uh, there will be a swelling okay there will be swelling what does it mean so when there will be swelling what does it mean right so that kind of uh, even things you can create that is swelling you can create you can create a dip you can create hot surface with by just filling all the channels so this kind of how you are using these channels from your <clears throat> pressure controller is the question that may be controlled by electronics that is fine okay so this way this is another kind of controlling system new nets new nets okay that means pneumatic new networks okay so creating new uh, pneumatic networks is also very important uh, uh, growing area so that is important one fine example i can show <clears throat> here is this one so if you see it is a kind of a strip holder so different strips are attached and pneumatically controlled so this is going to see that that, that is a egg actually tomato and egg so egg it is handling the grip is very good because it is pressure based so that kind of uh, uh, grip it can create but still there won't be too much pressure on the egg so this is called uh, creating a soft touch or soft contact okay so and if you see the advantages the first advantage is <clears throat> these are based on soft material so soft touch is possible so there is a temperature limitation that is up to 360 uh, 316 degrees around something it can work well so but very high flexibility things you can get from the silicon based polymers and bio compatibility so humans can wear it use it and there won't be any issue and it is waterless tasteless so silicon based polymers i am talking about so they have some good advantage in order to use for robotics so this is one example and here you can see single strap grip and three fingered grippers so single fingered gripper how they are controlling here channel is very big but don't expect we will create that much bigger channels to create something okay that is for <coughs> only example okay so when they inflate the air inside so that is bent with some angle and it is going to grip something am i right so the same way you can see the three <clears throat> uh, fingered gripper that is also able to bend and hold the object so based on your pressure the pressure on the object will vary so this way this is another kind of controlling system this is also controlling system only so pneumatic networks also another kind of controlling system which can work as a soft robotics okay which is another important area and which is seriously important area to create the soft touch robots okay so this is about uh, soft robotics and uh, you can consider this for uh, your examination and uh, so that is about the control systems uh, uh, that is about the bio inspired controls okay pneumatic network so thank you very much so next we will discuss the bio optics in the next session